In this video, I'll be showing you how to repair your sodium iron. A few days ago, my sodium iron element got burnt. So, this video will be very helpful to those of some of you that you've experienced such and you don't. Instead of buying a new one, if it is still very handy, you can replace it and get it done. So, let's look it to it. And also, as a bonus tip, I will show you how to add a uh, light indicator to your soldering iron also for those of you my own has it but it has uh, it has spoiled too before so i decide to add a new one today to it so if your own does not have it so far it's a plastic one you can make the whole and we'll do it so you learn all that in this video so let's go so to do that first thing uh, you have to get it and a soldering iron element you can see the brand new one i have here they have different level and quality uh, this one is a very good one anyway so depending on the one available in your side just ask where you can get the original and get it so now next thing is to lose this iron so let's lose it so you see the way i lose it let like disconnect all the wire there so we'll disconnect this now so once you've done that you have to lose this boat so you can detach this upper area so let's do that too. If you have a drill you can use it but this is too small for me to be wasting my time using drill. So I prefer using my screwdriver on small things like this. So as your boat put it aside, don't let it last. So we've we'll lose this now. So another thing, the bit at the top here, lose it. So you can see the boat black already. The second side, lose it. Yeah, those are the boat we don't need. This is the bit I'm using. You can see very dirty already. It has worked over a long period of time. You can use the opportunity to clean it up so that it will get hot on time okay it's looking more better and I can easily contact okay so now this is the element we want to change you know we got the new one you can see it this is the one that got burnt you can see what really happened okay guys so I plugged the very high voltage that's why so I was using generator and I forgot it's connected to my stabilizer so the voltage entered to 70 <laughs> so that's why so I just saw a red spark so immediately I knew this is gone so this is a new one I want to use so let's take it out it will come with both so I may decide not to use this old boat again. I have two new ones here. So let me take it out. So those are the two new ones. So this is my element now. So just very simple. Straighten this leg. Okay. So put it inside this place. So, and then consider this hole here. You see, this one is small, the other one is big. And if you look at this one, here's the big one. So, adjust it to that point. So, this is where the big one should be. Here. So, let's put it up. You can see that it's very simple. And take the second one. Oh, sorry. Before you boot it up, don't let us forget the bit at the. Let's put our bit in so that the boot can hold it together. So based on how long you want your bit, some of you like it more. I like my own long. So tight it. Remain the second one now. 
to the bad one also. So that it is ensure it's tight. So that is fine now. Okay. So that's it. We are done with this changing. Then I just this one inside. I'm sure it's getting in. It's getting inside, okay? Okay, you don't want it to get in contact with the body. This is still naked. So this is better now. Now the wire we have coming from the main body for this side here. Yeah? So assuming we are not putting any light indicator, if I connect these two together now, if I plug it, it will heat up instantly, very fast, as simple as possible. But remember, we want to add this light indicator. That is a bonus for those of you that are watching my channel. Uh, that is a bonus tip for you guys. Okay, so uh, let me use this to safeguard the body, so that there will be no breach. Okay. So this is good now. So let's join this with this together. Let me peel this way a bit. Okay. So I'll show you drag this one here. You see it now to the point it cannot go again so that it will not be touching this body. So don't let your own come out. Let it be in. So, so you see it firm now. So Tied it together. If possible, sew it. I cannot sew this my own because this is the only sewing iron I'm using, but it's optional. So, oh sorry, for well, I must forget this. This should pass through. Please take note of that. It should pass through and comes in here. So. Let's put that in. Yeah. So we can easily lock this one up now. So let's lock it. We have our boat here. Just this one. So the other kind of yes. Okay, we can tie it back now. So the last one. So, this area is okay now, standing firm. So, let's tie this one before we had our light indicator. So, attach this to this. It's not polarity sensitive. Okay, the other one here. It is. Remember, if you want to sew the tear free, but this is the only iron I have. So remember, adjust this one down. Ensure there is no room for you to move out. So the way I'm doing it, just very simple, like this. So if I plug this now, it will heat up very fast but I like light indicator to be here to put it here so to do that is very easy this is too long let's chop it off a bit I have the scissors here okay let's use this okay so let's put it in 
Let's do the second one. If you know you are getting value from this video on this channel, please ensure you subscribe to this channel because this year want to hit 10k subscriber even though we are less than 1000 now but with your help i can definitely get there thank you for doing that so for the bulb now for those of you that you don't know how to get this bulb you can get it from any electrical source just say ac bulb or if you have some of this socket that have spoiled yes it's ac bulb that is inside all the wall socket that has spoiled you can easily remove the bulb don't use your normal dc bulb it will explode though so let me include this now so the way I'm tying it so ensure you tie it very well they are both high on it to not break so I'll tie it if you want to cut it off you can cut it off I like it this way so you can see it now this is contacting this place so take your tape make sure you tape your work to prevent any form of bridging so don't manage tape it well it's all about your safety and your life so this is okay now so I'm very sure there is no way it can bridge the other side so let's move to the second side now second side let's put this other one okay i can use this long one this time around yeah so you can see the way i'm doing it is very simple remember this indicator is optional if you want it you can include it if you don't no problem but I want it because I have it and this before before it got burnt so that's why I want to replace it back since I love oh this as well bent let me just that small one sorry I've over twisted as why it broke but I still luckily I still have the edge of the resistor so can attach it to this but um, the head here yeah, back it will still work okay so lucky us so let me try and put it inside here yeah okay that's okay now so let's take this side too bad tape away so that there will be no bridging and it's all about your safety this is AC not DC so it can be dangerous if you do any mistake that's why I'm putting this to separate them together okay now that we have this we can just hold this body together okay so, I have this now, let's look at, let's set it inside this place now. Consider where I'm doing it. We've already connected to a to our element. That one is set to just that we want to include this pop. See? So, before I put it inside, I have to come here. See the way I'm doing it. Very simple. So let me see what can happen now. What this is here now. Because this plastic I broke is not actually doing anything. It's just to cut the wire and hold it in place. So let's see. For so indicator is here. Okay, real that one can be in place. So seems to work this way okay seems it's going to work now it's working okay so we have an indicator here so we can put this plastic there's a tiny plastic here 
okay if you have it fine if you don't have it no problem but since I have it I can just include it at the top here you understand that so let me put a little glue there it's a little one at the edges and turn the bulb just the plastic side so that it can hold this for me definitely is in place now you said for your own you may not have this plastic you know you are drilling it so assuming I punch this place now I'll just put the edge of the bulb to just show out a little bit so you can see it is here now so I can check the multimeter if everything is okay so let's see it reading now if you have a shot then there's problem I see it reading there must be no shot if you hear a continuity sound like this then there is a short circuit so this one is good now so let's test it let's go and test it this is a very quick video to test run it whether it's working or not I intentionally switch off my camera light so we'll be able to see the light here so let's put it down here as you can see it let me plug it right here you see it coming up let me turn it off here I see it now so with this indicator we've been able to know that okay my uh, my iron is connected already so I thought it is already getting warm already let me remove it see off instantly it now coming up so if I mistakenly plug it in a place that is not working like this you see that there is no sign that's to tell me it's not working so find this video very helpful to like share and subscribe see you in my next video cheers